In this video we want to create this design here. So we have a design, a sliding up panel, we have a follow button and then we can also change between the different users of our social app. Here in our main page, first of all, we create a scaffold and inside of the scaffold, we simply create an app bar. The first thing is we set here the elevation and background color to not existing so that it is not hindering us. And then we set this leading button and we use this, this icon here. And we also set the actions button where we set this close button. And if you hot reload, then you don't see them right now, but they should be here and also here on the right side. And later our design is dark and therefore you can see them better. So that's fine for now. The next thing then is to also create here this bottom navigation bar and this is pretty easy. So we want to start with the easy task first and therefore add here this bottom navigation bar and then we create this bottom navigation bar widget. And in this bottom navigation bar widget, we first of all create this bottom navigation bar Inside we put all of our items, so we want to put some icons here inside and then we simply create here out of our icon this bottom navigation bar item and here inside we put our icon inside and for the title we put a container inside because you have to set this field. The next step is to also create these icons, so I have created here five icons and you will later see them and let's maybe hot restart it already. And now you don't see here much, but they should be here. So we should also change the color. So the next step is to set first of all the index. We want to set it to two. So it's the middle icon. And then we also change here the icon size. First of all, the icon size of the normal icon and also of the selected icon. So this one here in the middle will be a little bit bigger. And so that we also see it more clearer, I will also set here two colors. And now you see everything. So we have here this gray color for the unselected item, like you can see, and this red color for the selected item. And that's everything what we need here for this navigation bar. And then we can go back to our main file. And now comes the interesting part. So after we have created here this at the top and also at the bottom, I think we create here this middle part. And like you can see, we have here also the functionality that it is sliding every time between different users in our social app. And that's what we want to build right now. And to accomplish this design, we first of all create here in our body property a page view. And here inside, we want to go over all of our users. And I have created here a class with all of our dummy users. And basically what they have here inside is some image of themselves. And I have also put them here into our assets folder. So I have here different images for the users. And to access this image, we call here this user URL image and wrap it in an image widget. And then we also want to add here this on page changed because we need to also set the functionality that we can swipe to the right and to the left. And therefore we get here an index bag, which we then store here at our top. So we create here an index field and then we simply store our index into this index field. And now we can try this application out. So you see we have here the different user images and we can swipe between them. And if you compare this design with the design which we want to accomplish, you see that we are almost done. The last thing what we need to do is also to put here this sliding up panel inside. And we also need to add here the functionality of the sliding up and down and also this follow button. For the sliding up panel, we will make use of the sliding up panel. So put it into your PubSpec Jumble, into your dependencies inside. Now the first thing is to wrap this page view into our sliding up panel. And this is the widget from the plugin. And here we have a body property where we set here our page view inside. And here at the top, we also want to create from this index the selected user. So right now we have here all the users. And with this user property, then we select here with the index, the current user we have selected here. So we can scroll here through all of our users and then we end up at one user and this will go here into this field. And now we can build here for our sliding up panel also this bottom. So we add here this panel builder and this is basically the panel which you see here at the bottom. So this white panel and we want to create here a new panel widget which we want to create later. And here inside we put our user inside so that we can show the detailed information of the user later. 
and we also want to add here this on click panel and also this method on click following because later we can follow a user and we can also click on the panel and then we can add here some behavior and the user following we already set so we can change here our field of the is following of our user and we simply toggle it every time and this toggling will be later shown here at the bottom like you can see if I click here on this button then it will toggle all the time. Now we need to create this panel widget and this panel widget gets basically everything here inside all the information which we have put before inside and in our build method we create a column to show multiple things under each other and the first thing we want to put here is the stats widget and if you remember this is here this at the top so we want to show here the statistic of our user. So we show here the follower accounts and also the following count and the post count. And that's what we want to create here with the states widget. And the states widget gets first of all the user which we have put inside. And then we simply want to build a row because we want to show like the statistic next to each other. And we also set here this main axis alignment space between. So we want always to have the maximum space between these widgets, which we put here inside. And now we can create our widget here, build statistic. And this will every time be here one of these. So we have here title, some space and also subtitle. So let's create it here. So basically we put here a text and value inside, which will be our counter. And then we have here a column and the first thing is to display here the value. So this will be our following count, for example, and I give it also text style. The next thing is then a little bit height between the texts. And then we also show here this text itself. And now I can already hot reload it. And next to the followers count, we also want to show the post count and also the following count. Therefore, I create here these two also, and I get every time the data from the user property. And we also want to wrap it here into a padding so that we have some padding. And right now you don't see this information here on the right side, which we have created. You only see here this panel widget. And therefore we go back to our main page and here inside of our slide up panel, we can add some properties. And the most important property might be this color. So we can set it here to transparent. And now you see that we have here this followers count and the post count and also the other count. And now we are already pretty close to the main design. We only need to add here this sliding up panel below. So we have already the sliding up panel, but we will add here this white container. And then we put here the user detailed information inside. In this panel widget, we create now next to our stats widget. So we create under it our profile. And herein we want to put the detailed information of our user. So let's create here this method build profile. And then we get first of all a gesture detector and we want to handle here the tab so that we can register every time the tab if we click on this panel and later we can then slide the panel up and down. And now inside of this we want to put all the information inside. So first of all I add a little bit padding and now we want to add here the profile details inside. So let's create this method. I put here also the user inside. And the first thing is that we start here with the column. And now we should build here this description text and also here this photo text. And below it, you see the photos and that's what we want to add right now. So the first step is to put here our user bio. This is the description. Then we add here this photos text and under it, we want to put the images. So we also put here some height and then we put here our images into an expanded so they get the remaining space. And here inside we create a list view with all of our images. So I set the axis to horizontal so we can scroll here between all of our images. And then we put here from our user the photos inside. And basically what we do here inside is to create a container with some height and width of the image and also some padding to the right so that if we have multiple images that we have some padding between them and here inside we basically create this image. Now if I hot reload you don't see much so if I go here up you see everything is here in black and we already have the images but we want to make this also white so we go here to our build profile where we created and here we want to wrap our profile into a container 
and then we set a decoration and here basically we want to build this panel so we want to build this white decoration so first of all i add here the radius and this here makes the top left and top right corner later rounded and then we also want to set here this color and we want to set it to white and like you can see now we get here this shape and this is all done with this container and this decoration and inside we have our description text and the photos the photos right now are stretched but we will later care about it and now the next thing is to build also the upper part so we want to create here this username and also the follow button and to create this user we go to our profile and then we also wrap here our profile details in an expanded and before we add some space and then we also want to set this panel header widget and here inside we basically want to put the user inside and this on clicked following because in this panel header widget we also have this follow button and therefore we pass here both information inside so now the next step is to create this panel header widget and in this panel header widget we put all the information our user and on clicked following inside which we have passed inside before and here in our build we create first of all the row and then we want to place the username next to the follow button so let's look at it again so here is the username and this gets then expanded and here we have a follow button and under the username we have the location so first of all we write then here build user where we want to build our username and we create here this method and this is a column and the first property is then the username itself with some style and then we have a little bit space between and under it we put the location inside and next to the username is the follow button and this follow button I have already created in a different video and I will link it into the description box of this video and now we can look at how this looks like so we get here this information and like you can see this also needs to get expanded so what we will do is we wrap here our build user into an expanded and now we have here our expanded and follow button and this looks already really good and we also can toggle here between our follow state already so we can follow here something we can go to the next user and then we can follow and we can go back to the other user and then he keeps this information and now if you compare here these two designs you see here at the bottom that we have two less content showing and we need to increase it and how we can do this is we go to our main page and here in our sliding up panel we can add some fields and the first field we want to set is the min height and with this one you can set how much is showing here so right now it is more showing and you also can set the max height so right now we have here that these images are stretched and what we can do here is also to set this max height property so we set it to 340 and if we do this and go here down you see that the images are not stretched anymore and that we see here the images in a different format and if we are already here we can also add some effect to our sliding and this is a parallax effect which you can set and this will change then how the sliding works if we currently tap here on this panel then it is not going up and that is what i want to change and we had here before in our sliding up panel this field uh, on click panel so we have already if we tap here on it and then we can do something and what we want to do is we want to slide up the panel and what we do therefore is to create here at the top a new field which is called panel controller and then we want to put here in our sliding up panel this panel controller inside and now we can use this panel controller because it is wired up with our sliding up panel and therefore we go here to our on click panel and then change it to panel.open and now the controller is every time calling if we click here this open function and now I can test it so I press here on the bottom and you see that it is sliding up and I can press here anywhere and it will always go up again and that's it we have finished this design we can scroll right now between the users and the name is changing here at the bottom we can follow some user and we can also slide up and down and see also the more interesting information of this user in our social app hello everyone thank you so much for watching this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon. Bye.